Gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. On the fence. I'm on the fence. We don't need to talk about it. We, 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 we. Left hook from Yaounde came and landed on him, you know, so. Yes. Cool. Yeah. King's Court MMA, we're back in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New surroundings. That's how we roll. We're always on tour out in these streets. On the road. <laughs> I'm your guy, Obasogi. Yes, I'm your guy, Marty. Uh, shout out to yourselves. We could be interrupted at any time now. Obviously, this is the UFC 290 review show, nice and early. The actual episode, um, you know, um, on the whatever UFC 290 countdown hasn't even come out yet. So quick, quick. We're, we're quick to the punch. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to get this out and then be the first out there to like get the, the wheels absolutely in full steam for this massive event. Big, big fight. Oof. Big. Look, looking at the card as well. It's been a while. I'm excited. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm gassed. It's true. Like, all this morning, all I've been doing is just like going back, looking at the past fights, watching the Dan Hardy breakdown of yes. the main event. Obviously, we've got Alex the Great Volkanovsky versus Yaya Rodriguez. El Pantera. They're going to merge the belts. Obviously, Volk's got the real belt, but we've got the interim champ that is uh, Yaya yeah. with the uh, with the interim cha- you know, championship belt. Viva la Mexico. What That's a true. year they are having. Honestly, Great. if they could end the year now, they would. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <Now, laughs> be honest. Because, hey, a lot can happen in the day. What, we're, oh, gosh, yeah. Exactly halfway through the year now. Mad. Happy 1st of July, everyone. Nice. Boom. Um, happy Independence Day to all you Americans in the next couple of days. Indeed. You know? um, wicked, wicked. But um, yeah, half of the year gone already. It's nice. July the 1st today. 2023 just flying by. Nuts. Flying by. And I think it was DRC Independence as well, actually, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, a week ago. So shout out to the those big guys. Up, big up. But this main event, um, a featherweight title bout, about, I think. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. I, I yeah. genuinely think it's going to be epic. It's going to um, go down. I think it's going to, like, I don't want to get straight into calls, but I just think it's going to be, it's going to be one of those ones where ugh, I'm going to have to stay up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's going to be no going to bed. It's going to be, I'm going to be literally yeah, up, up. Like, literally have a little nap, <laughs> nice early <laughs> evening nap, and then be up for that main card. I'm not missing any, any of this card, but this main event, Volk obviously coming off what his last fight against Islam when he yeah. when he went out for a double champ. Yeah, coming back to coming back home to the featherweight division. That's it. Doing bits to defend that belt. My saying of the of the last few years: don't sleep on Volk. Obviously, um, what what we saying though? Like how how what's the excitement levels first and foremost, and what would we rate the card out of ten? Ooh, I think the excitement levels are high yeah. because because over the last few weeks we've had not the greatest of cards. We've had maybe although good... you didn't watch last weekend's card, which I, I have to say, if you didn't see um, was it Emmett versus um, Tapuria yeah. um, fight night last weekend, trust me, epic. Yes, like the main event as a fight, fantastic, but the yeah. fights leading up to that, it was KL City. It was, I missed it was, out. It was sweet. I, I must nice. go back and see yeah. as well. So yeah, Definitely. we'll get into that. But um, yeah, this is this is a card. Obviously, we've got Volk versus Yaya. Yeah, remember, it's two championship fights. Double On the two. co-main, we've got Brandon versus Pantoja, Alexandra Pantoja, which is technically we just figured out their third fight. Yes, although indeed. the first fight was in um, the Ultimate Fighter, yeah, or the Contender Series, one of the two. Yeah, um, and then the uh, first fight was in the UFC when Brandon was ranked number seven and Pantoja was twelve, mm-hmm. and we just watched that fight not too long ago. But anyway, no, let's stick with the main. <laughs> I'm getting drawn <laughs> no. in. I'm getting drawn in because I'm just excited. There's, there's so much going on. So what are we just saying? Volk's got this light work. <laughs> <laughs> if APL was here, that's what you would say. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you know, why are you guys even trying to make a show out of it? <laughs> like, come on, let's get straight to the point. And you know, I think I think it's probably going to be leading that way in all of our picks. Uh, don't want to put words into anyone's mouths, but I think what excites me most about this fight is both of these guys' fighting style is exciting. Yeah, his mm. fighting style is just gets you on the edge of the seat. The kicking style, like the Taekwondo background style, 
he is good on the ground. He he takes risks, 100%. you know. And and Volk, Volk loves a stand up fight. That's mm. his bread and butter. He loves a stand up fight. Mm. And do you know what? I'm here for it. I have to say, I agree. I think yeah, yeah. Though I think when you think of mixed martial artist, mm. he's one of the when I the visions I get are like mixed martial artist, yeah. comfortable anywhere, any place. That's it. He he he's obviously got the reach advantage. Mm -hmm. No, he hasn't actually. So I thought reach advantage. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, he's gonna have it. Yeah, they're both seventy one inches. That's what I keep saying. I they need to do legs. Ah, it's in Spanish. Oh, yeah, wow. they have the same reach. Weird. Although he's, I think, 5'10", 5'11", and Alex is 5'6". So I think he's got four inches on him in height. But Wait, because they do reach based on... Yeah, arm span. It's yeah. the same. Okay, which is okay. nuts. Okay. Which is absolutely... When I was like, I was like, what? Huh? When I was, saw the statistics, I was like, check the statistics. <laughs> but I was like, what? How, how are they the same reach? And then I always forget, oh, they always do it based on wingspan, not yeah, as opposed to as opposed to legs. So... um. Yeah, same reach there, but I think, um, yeah, when I, as I was saying, mixed martial artist, I just think he's comfortable everywhere. Um, he is, he's one of those ones where he can, he, he, he flows like water. Mm. And that's, that's, that's how I describe him in terms of he can be smooth and calculated one minute and like just be like, pick, like picking those those little gaps in his pockets and then he'll just yeah. do something crazy and erratic. And, you know... Let's not forget what he did to Korean Zombie. Like, actually, oh. let's not forget what they both did to Ooh. Korean Zombie. Oh, yeah. Because Volk, was, Volk oh. had to He's put the care package in. <laughs> <laughs> the Drake care package had to come into play when he's fighting Korea. <laughs> you sure you want to carry on, Volk? That's Are you it. okay? Like, literally, telling his corner. Tyler, like, telling his, like, looking at his corner like, yo, I'm, I'm spanking your guy here. And he's, he's not hitting back. Do a favor. Do I carry on? Um, where was Jaya? Oh. I hold on. Uh, the the nowhere. Oh, 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 to put in his arm there to protect himself from the knee, but yeah. putting his body deep in, and then he was literally gauging where Korean Zombie's head was going on his back, and he does it twice. Like the calcul the, the calculated assassin that he is, and then the third time, as you said, is like the dying seconds of the fight. He's yeah. like, it's time now, and then unloads it. <laughs> And right on the bottom to sleep, just <laughs> <laughs> and to sleep, puts him down. So yeah, that's that's obviously yes. One thing they both got in common, they've absolutely des destroyed Korean zombies. <laughs> Shout out to zombie, you know, because he's he's still a baller. But... Zombie for the right reasons or the wrong reasons, yeah. but yeah, not too sure about that that nickname when you're just getting zombie fired left, right, left, right, and center. But indeed, yeah, I think it's going to be. I'm excited because I think it's going to be a highly technical fight. Yeah. It's going. I think yeah. it's going to be elite versus elite, Com completely. and I think it's going to be, you know, hopefully. It sets up for a little bit of a, a, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of a featherweight, feather, featherweight trilogy. Because let's be honest, yeah. Volks just won wings yeah. around that division. Hence why the opportunity out. for him to go up was there because yeah. he's cleaned out. He's, he's done it, and everybody else that's coming through, he's just been halted by Max. <laughs> Max yeah. is still about his Max, is, Max, is, Max is still. I think he was on um, Ariel's show the other day. He still wants yeah. another sh shot. At it. He exactly. still thinks he could he could get get Volk and get the belt off him. Exactly. Can you imagine? <laughs> Like, I'm sure probably Izzy, I think it is Izzy that's actually given him that motivation as well, Volk's boy, because he's just been, you know, come back and did that Pereira win. He's mm. given Max that new lease of last year, actually, you know, I can do this. Yeah. I can do this. Never but... say never. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is Beaver style. But yeah, I think the unpredictability of Yair is something what excites me for this fight. Mm. And Volk said it himself. He was on RC and DC or DC and RC. Um, early on this week, and he just said that excites me. You know, yeah. he, he he likes and respects Ayer as a, as a striker. Yeah. Even on the ground, obviously, he did he win Emmett by doing that triangle. Triangle, yeah. On the ground, so yeah, yeah, I believe that was his first UFC submission. Wow. So now he's obviously got the jiu-jitsu game mm. in his locker as well now. Yeah. But saying that, 
And I, you know, I'm a massive fan of anyone who's a, can get elite at jiu-jitsu because I think out of all of MMA, I think that's just like I just I just love it. I think you, that, yeah. that's an art. It's a, I know they're so all arts, but I think that there's a lot there's a lot to jiu-jitsu, and if you can mm. get to levels in jiu-jitsu, I'm like, wow, that's incredible. Yeah. But saying that, I would say I think to be honest, I don't even want to call the what what Volkanov, Volkanovski does in terms of the ground. I don't even want to call it wrestling anymore. I think he's like. I want to call it anti jiu jitsu because <laughs> that's what it is. No, because if you think about it, I, I don't. It's, it, it, he's got, he. I think he's the best anti jiu jitsu fighter out there. Yeah, just nullifies it. Honestly, like even when you watch, like when you watch watch the phases and, and how he 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 he, he fights on the ground, mm. he's, he's he's fought killers. Yeah. You know, that's Brian Ortega, the, the compromising positions that Brian Ortega had him in twice, no. and got out. So for me. If you can get out, of, and t- everyone knows about TC, he's like jiu-jitsu yeah, specialist, exactly. elite yeah, of the elite. Yeah, exactly. If you can do that, as as great as Yair looked against Emmett and that's how he ended him, mm. I'm like, that's, I, I wouldn't recommend that's the way to go. Yeah. No, it's true. <laughs> because I just think he's very good at just, obviously, I think he's still got that, in his brain, and I think you see the way he fights, he's still got that mass, that weight that he had when he was a rugby player. Yeah. But, I think he's still got that mentality. Yeah. But yeah, he's, he's obviously lighter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think he's still got that. I, I just see him because even the way he's built, he's dense. Yeah, he's dense. So his I just think. Is there, so it's yeah. Exactly. I think he's still got that big body strength. I, I say the strength, the same strength that even um, Anthony Rumble had, where, he, you know, you could come down for what, three, four divisions, <laughs> but he's well still got that heavyweight strength. You know, that skit. I think that's the same with Volk. With Volk he carries it. Which strength, makes, it, makes it very difficult to pin him down when you're on the ground yeah that's I think true. Yair though has got his takedown defence is very much underrated because mm-hmm. again when you watch his fights he does get taken down yeah but he doesn't no one keeps him down very true and he's very good at reversing positions yes or popping straight back up so I think the statistic is like 63% takedown defence which is like not great but He'll get taken down, but it's it, now he's got the, the jiu-jitsu and he can, you know, use triangles and stuff. That makes him even more dangerous because exactly. God knows he might go do, do a do a Demetrius Johnson transition where flip, 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 boom, boom, and then you, then he's on your neck like exactly. that. That kind of style. I, I can imagine that being in his arsenal as well. For me, yeah, like I said, he's got anti Volk's got anti jiu-jitsu movements. Um, he knows how to make space. And not allow someone to like get hold of him, even when he's on top of them. Mm. And he's all about that ground and pound. Like he keeps you busy, he keeps you working. That's the like he's not just back. he's not he's just there. being dense and making you like think, oh, I've got a human backpack. He's yeah. constantly peppering you with shots yeah. as well. I just think, <sighs> how does Volk lose? Because <laughs> I like yeah, yeah, but. I don't want to sound like APL as well and just be like, well, you know, let's be honest, uh, it's going to be light work, it's going to be easy. But what are the keys to victory for y- for Yair in this I, fight? I think the keys to victory, and you spoke about obviously the like the the the, the, sp- the span, the range is, is is not there. It's not an advantage, but on the legs, he's a taller guy. I think the advantage is is the kicking. You need to be able to, or yeah, yeah, he needs to be able to mm. impose his, his taekwondo, his kicks, that mm. sort of technique to keep Volk out of range, you know. Volk is great at distance management. You know, he's one of those fighters that no he's matter. Actually, the, again, I think he's one of the best. Yeah, he's one of the best. Yeah. And he can he can get in. It doesn't matter what yeah. you do against Max Holloway, who's such a, le- a, a, a lengthier guy against T City, such a lengthier guy against yeah. him. But if Yair can implement his kicking style in a way that actually hurts Volk, maybe try to do the leg kicks. Maybe try to take some some mm. you know some 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 spike out of his movement. Um, that might be a that might be a might be a way to reach victory. Head kicks, maybe go body body body, so that Volk maybe drops his his hands, which you don't normally see with Volk. You don't normally see, but I see that's probably the only way that yeah. I can see him winning the fight because really outpointing Volk, you don't really do that. Mm-hmm. Islam did that according to the judges, but really and truly that was that was close. Yeah, I think that's the best chance of keys to success for yeah yeah. Yeah, what are you thinking? I, again, I think I agree. I think the kicking game has got to be on point. But then mm. I think Mister Anti Jiu Jitsu and Volk likes kicking as well. And I think he'll yeah. come out and and try and take away that 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 lead leg very quickly of Yair. Yeah. Um. Because you know, I think that's one thing he can probably predict is coming. Like mm. Yair's going to come out kick heavy. Yeah. 
So yeah, how do sure. I how do I do with that? I I go first. Yeah, he gets in there. Good <laughs> I go first. Me. I'm the distance king. I can I can cross the distance when I want and get out of range when I want because I've got the better feet. Yeah, and, the rim. Or yeah, or the other other where I don't allow that distance to mm. even be there at all. There will be no. I'm taking my kicks out. I'm taking his kicks out of it. I'm literally going to post my head on his chest for the whole fight. Yeah, and keep it close, head. close, and we're grappling or we're going down to the mat. Yeah. It's tasty, and as again on on the DC and RC one that Volk was on, he said that he's he's brought somebody in who's a, like a six time Taekwondo champion mm. in his camp to try and replicate the sort of movements that Yai is going to do, mm. and that's the that's one of the biggest things I think in Volk is his Arsenal is his preparation, yeah. the prep that he does for these guys is second to none. I, I agree, I so agree, he's but Yai is unpredictability. The, the the guy is very good at making the impossible possible that like he that 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 for example the zombie knockout absolutely unbelievable yeah. like the fact that he's even tried that he's done all kinds of, like he's got scissors kicks knockouts in his arsenal <laughs> when you go through his repertoire i'm just like what the heck it's Tekken he's got style, so. he's using like yeah like mortal combat dummies to, like where you, you you're like you fully full on the fighters blocking something that's halfway like coming at their face like <gasps> And then the other kid comes round, <laughs> and you're just like, and they don't see it coming. Yeah. Um, the guy, he's got crazy hook kicks. He mm-hmm. faints on nuts. Even with his kicks, he'll faint. Like you'll think it's a low kick. His eyes are all giving you the low kick, and then bang, yeah. it's in your chest. Bang, it's in your chin. It's the guy is unpredictable, and if he's wow. going there with that, let's say that thirty extra percent of confidence that I've got a belt as well. It's true. Your, this is equilibrium. This isn't champion versus number one. This is yeah. champ versus champ. If he's going in with that mentality and that confidence, then I'm, I'm thinking, it, again, you, I think you hit the nail on the head. He likes taking risks. Yeah. So is he going to be like, I've got nothing to lose here. That's it. Wow. I've got nothing wow. to lose. I'm just going to go out and do my, I'm going to do me. Yeah. I, you know, it might even be a thing I don't even care what you're good at. Everybody knows what Volk is good at. Mm-hmm. It's, the, it's, it's almost one of those things where, like we let's cover Volk's strength. Why would we? We've done that multiple times before. Yeah. That's why effectively the emphasis needs to be in Yair. How can he break through exactly. Alex the Great effectively? That's it. Um, so the unpredictability is something that, again, it says it in the word, no one can predict. <laughs> so no matter how much tape Volk watches and how much preparation he's doing with a Taekwondo specialist, yeah, in, no one knows what he's going to do and when he's going to do it. it. And that could make it spectacular because let's be honest, Volk could be having his way for four minutes, 40 seconds. Mm. Sorry, four rounds and it, we could be in four minutes, 40 seconds of the fifth round. Yeah, And we're like, I'm probably there drooling going, okay. <laughs> it's uh, over. <laughs> message, messaging you going, it's a wrap. Blah blah blah, and then bang! That's it out of nowhere. That's it. That's it. But can it can be done? Can be done. I, I don't but think will it, it will be done. That's the Plus thing. Plus, Volker's got a blockhead. So, I'm, <laughs> but personally, they don't get knocked out. It's, yeah, he's got an absolute blockhead. Like, so if you throw something unpredictable, it's gonna be have. To, it's gonna have to have like the waffle of the gods and and all sorts behind it. You know, to to even dent Alex, and then. He's got to do something after that because I don't think it'll it'll be a one a one and done. I think yeah. he'll have to be like get him so startled and then be so quick to get a submission on him. But yeah, then and he's down and grapple and I, I, I'm I'm still I'm still trying to sell it to myself. I'm still trying to visualize how <laughs> how Volk loses. I don't see Volk knocking him out either. Though. That, like, don't get me wrong. I yeah. see Volk literally dominating yeah um if it's going his way dominating winning on a very easy decision where everyone's like well why were we why were we even questioning it yeah or but, stop it beating him so bad that maybe the doctor stops it or the ref stops it i think that's a possibility it's always a possibility I that's think that fair is. yeah I think that is but for yaya to win i think it's got got to be something pretty pretty special pretty he's concussive got, yeah yeah he's got, and he's i got think against almost. anyone else i'll be like good chance against volk straight away your chances are a slim. bit slim because of because of who it is. Exactly. That is true. 
Should we get down to predictions? Should we just get down to it? Like, have we have we got the uh, the almighty one's prediction in, or has we, he, we has don't, he missed, you know, the cut. We don't. He's missed the cut. Oh, I APL. He's missed the cut. We wanted it from you, APL. We oh, wanted it. What is going on? He's, he's having missed... a mare there. He's having a mare. Yeah, he's 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 missed. He's missed the okay. cut. I, I, I think, like I said, I think it's going to be elite versus elite. I actually think it's mm. going to be a brilliant fight. Yeah. I'm just struggling to visualise for bulk losing. <laughs> I'm struggling to visualise how he loses. I'm struggling to even yeah. visualise him with his eyes closed and like, you know, looking to the gods like Usman, like down, like down on the, down on the mat, just out. Um, I can't, I'm struggling. Obviously, I, I don't think he can ever even be submitted after what, he's been through. I, I can't even visualise that. So, as much as I really like, yeah, yeah, and I think actually like, the momentum of Mexico at the moment is almost like, why would you even back anyone who's not Mexican? And then, by the way, if yeah. you follow boxing, it's the same with boxing. Like, Mexicans come in here and just beating up the Brits and taking their titles and going back home. Like, like oh yeah, like Mexico, their, <laughs> their combat Smash sports is right. having an absolute, like, come up and a half. Wow. Um, they're cleaning up women and men so Fair play. on that point I'm not going to play angels advocate and go oh well, I'm going to go for the underdog because it gets me extra points no I'm going straight down the middle <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going from Mr Predictable against Mr Unpredictable I've got to go Alex Volkanovsky and I actually do think it will be a decision you do. like 4-1 four, 4 rounds to 1-1 well. yeah. fair dude you're giving, you're giving a year round which is still generous because you know how good Volk is um, I'm, I'm going along the same path. I just, I just can't, I just can't look past Volk at this moment in time. Um, he, he's, he's got a point to prove. I think he wants that. He wants that rematch with, uh, with Islam at 155. He's, he's going to come back down. Tell everyone he's king of the 145ers. Tell them to put weight in line. I think it's going to be a Volk win round four stoppage. I think so. You think it's going to wear so. down on him? I think so. Yeah. I think he's going to beat him up, similar to how much pressure that that um, Holloway did to take to your year, and it's going to be competitive. It will be competitive, yeah. but I think Volk is going to break through third round, fourth round, put him down. Interesting, and just so yeah, I'm guessing APL Volk as well. Let's be honest, yeah. But yeah, we'll 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 announce that when it's official. Mm. Don't want to put words into his mouth, but um, <laughs> just going to quickly go through. You know, Volk's record and, you know, obviously last fight was recovered, lost against Islam, yeah. controversially, you know, in some some people's eyes. Before that, beat, beat uh, oh my gosh, that was, that was battering, battered Holloway. Um, yeah. Unanimous decision. Um, we've already covered when he finished off Korean Zombie. Yeah. Um, that was just bad. <laughs> that was just... Nasty. So that was the white flag from Volk on his behalf. Yeah. Saying, <laughs> I don't want to beat up your guy anymore. <laughs> um, Gosh. And then, oh, gosh, Ortega. Yeah. I feel, that like, that was, I feel, well. like, I feel like that was, like, further away. It was just... It was only it September 2021. Oh, September? Oh, okay. So yeah. it's just about, just like, a year, yeah. a year and a half ago. And then, obviously, Holloway Jeez. again. And then Holloway again. So it's dominant. To be honest, I think that was his only loss, you know, to Islam. In the UFC? In the UFC, I believe yeah. so. I don't, I, I don't yeah, think I've ever seen... Or something. Yeah, his record is 25-2. and two. I don't think I've oh, ever I'm seen sure. Volk lose in the UFC. Yeah, um, apart from that, Islam, Going yeah. back... For, yeah, apart from Islam. Um, yeah, I'm just going back through his record. That kind of seems to reflect that. Mm. And then when we look at good old uh, Viva La Mexico... Yeah, yeah, Pantera. El Pantera. Right, you know, his record, still good record, 16 and 3. Exactly. Very good record. Obviously, won the interim belt submission of Emmett. Oh, before that, beat Ortega. That was a yeah. fight. Oh, that God. Was, but it was the stoppage. I think he got injured, didn't he? Uh, yeah, Ortega. Well, uh, before that, Holloway. Decision unanimous. Before that, Stevens. Stevens twice. Oh, one was an old contest. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, the decision. Again, yeah, and then um, oh, yeah, against Korean Zombie. That was back in twenty eighteen. Mm. Jeez, that feels that feels like it was more recent as well. Yeah, that's been before that. Uh, yeah, and then um, beat Wait, lost to Frankie Edgar. Lost to Frankie Edgar twenty seventeen, but beat uh, B J Penn. So yeah, we are 
sorry guys, no no surprises there. Yeah, <laughs> Team Volk. My my st- statement of the last couple of years, don't sleep on Volk is uh, obviously um, <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's our championship main events. The yes. February. But before that, we have another fight for the gold. Online co main event. We got the flyweights. Mm-hmm. Got Brandon Moreno versus Pond. How do you pronounce it? Pontoja. Pontoja. Yeah. Pontoja. And, uh, and, and this is the well, officially um they're calling it what second yes second fight we did watch the first fight uh in the UFC just prior to recording and yeah, oh, five gosh, years ago it was poor it's yeah it wasn't a good performance from from the assassin it looked, baby it looked like it looked like we were watching someone else comp- to where he has come yeah he has come a long long way Leaps and, and he's and watching it you kind of and then you realizing all the noise Pantoja has been making and a lot, like, even, like, the last couple of fights, you're like, oh, no wonder why he's been so noisy. He's like, yeah. he's probably thinking, like, why are you even, why are you at this level when I, when I made you look like, you know, I made you look like Lurpak and I was doing, like, the hot, <laughs> the hot, hot knife and I just cut through you, That's like, it. for three rounds. Spreadable as well. Spre- spreadable. Spreadable as well, just... Salted. Salt- <laughs> Slightly salted. <laughs> Slightly sorted, spreadable. <laughs> Had his way with him. Light work, indeed. Um, so yeah, Brandon. Well, I'm sure he must be looking forward to fresh, fresh blood. Yeah, after that. So yeah, his last fights, obviously Figgy. Yeah, beat Figgy. Um, beat uh, oh Kai Carl France. France. Yeah, and then before oh gosh, before that Figgy again. That's true, but I think that second figure that dis- was a decision. First figgy. Oh, gosh. How many figures were there? Were there four? There's, there's been four. Gosh. Oh, sorry. No, the third figure. I think it was a decision. Unanimous. Right. Figgy one, draw. <laughs> figgy two, he won by submission. Figgy three, decision unanimous. And then figgy four, TKO, Dr. Stoppage. Yeah. For him. That's well, he's been on it. The last two fights, he's he stopped the guys. You know, figure didn't what he didn't. He made figure look look poor, really, yeah. in the in the most recent one. Yeah. And the Kai Kara fans before that, that was a that was a fight to be honest. That but was he stopped Kai. That that just put, that's put liver bit, kick or yeah. something. Oof. Let's, let's put that. That was crazy. Put that to bed. Indeed. And then yeah, um, Pantoja. They obviously fought back in uh, 2018. Mm-hmm. That was a decision Pantoja's way. And like I said, we watched it and. You know, from the first, from the first even grappling exchange, we thought, like, "Oh gosh, like Marina looks slow, yeah. looks sloppy, yeah, looks clumsy." Um, no sprawls. Just, there. It just wasn't... yeah, the speed wasn't there. That mm-hmm. killer instinct, the power. Yeah. Like honestly, it's like it's like night and day. Yeah. Um, that figure then to figure now. Um, and in a way, like if Pantoja's sleeping on that, <laughs> he's gonna he's in for a hard night. If he thinks he's getting the the, the, the Moreno that he smacked up five years ago and it's going to be a repeat. Yeah, he's got another thing coming. Another thing Definitely. coming. Um, looking at Pantoja's record, let's pull up his record, see what he's been up to lately. Uh, representing Brazil. Brazil. All the way back. Jeez. That's true, part of the nation as well. Mexico, Brazil. We've just had a Mexico Brazil when Nunes for um Aldana. So we've got Pantoja Perez Wal 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 Brandon Royal, yeah. Beat yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, less That's names now. Not, not, not the big names. He was on a three fight win streak. A three fight win streak, yeah. But then he lost to Askar Askarov. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, it's 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 true, you know. I think the flyweight division, it's it, it got it, it wasn't great at one point, but I think Figgy and Brandon Moreno's, you know, surgeons to to the top kind of elevated up, it, elevated it exactly. Yeah, and you yeah. got your Kai Kara fancies, you got your Askar Askarovs, now yeah. you have got your Pantoses, and it's given these guys an opportunity. Yeah, and a three fight three fight win streak with a win over Figgy, uh, sorry Moreno in the past puts me in contention. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And the stoppages as well, no. Yeah, submission last time out. Submission before that. Decision wins. Um, record, so what, 25 and 5. 8 wins by knockout. 10 wins by submission. 10 first round finishes. 
Whew, he's no slouch. He's, he's no slouch. He's not getting paid for any overtime. He's, he's in and out, shake it all true. about, do the old <laughs> hokey do the old hokey dokey, and I'll turn around. That's it. And to be honest, he looked good in that fight against against Moreno, but I don't think we were as impressed just because of the Moreno that showed up there. Yeah, and because we know how good Moreno was now to how he how he was exactly. five years ago. Exactly. So, hey, but it's that confidence. I've beaten you before. I can beat you again. Yeah. It's that, um, what's his name? Um, it's that Poatan confidence that, mm. hey, even though you're the UFC champion of the world, I've beaten you before. Yeah. I've beaten you twice before unofficially. Yeah. Like, I can do that. I've got your number. If he comes with that energy, yeah. we might be looking at a new new flyweight champion of the world. But, it's Brandon. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll probably have to watch a little bit more Pantoja mm. to really, like, understand okay what's Brandon because obviously I, have, I don't think I've seen enough of him to think yeah. at the moment I'm like is he a threat really um, is, the, is the division going to kind of go back to its kind of not so elevated state now that the Figgy Brandon beef is over because even looking at Pantoja's kind of resume I'm like yeah, yeah not, for me it's not exciting when I look at Brandon's I'm like ooh, ooh, ooh. but a lot true. of that was Figgy yeah, it's true. It's very <laughs> so it's true. like Oh, it's 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 a, it's a it's a strange one. Um, I'm not sleeping on Brandon. I only get again from seeing how far he's come, like watching that fight five years ago to where he is now. I'm like, blood, like I said, it's night and day, and I'm like, I don't see him slipping up. Yeah. Plus, his motivation will obviously be the revenge. Like, okay, Correct. you beat me, just yeah. like with against Figgy. It was always about getting that, getting that back, and you know, rectifying you know the the wrong. So for me, um. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be shocked. It, for me, it'd be a shock. And the odds, not, look, you're looking at the odds, they've got Brandon as the favourite as well. Yeah. So the, obviously, the, you know, people are putting their money and putting it behind Moreno. Yeah. I, I definitely want to do my due diligence a little bit more and understand um, Pantoja's journey because mm-hmm. th- that might sway me a little bit. Yeah. You know, um, but at this point in time, I'm like, I can't really look past the champion again. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I'm with you on that as well. I need to do my due diligence with Pantoja. I've only seen one or two of his fights. Yeah. But yeah, I uh, I would probably go first on this one. But yeah, I, I'm I'm going for a Moreno win. I think it's going to be a passionate one. He's going to have all of Mexico behind him. Mm. He's going to be focused, and he's going to see. We're going to see that focus like we did see in the Figgy fights. That that mentality, and I think we're going to see probably one of the best Morenos that we've ever seen before. Um, I'm going for a Moreno win round three submission. And the thing is, like, for me, I'm like thinking, if he was fighting anyone else, I think there would be that possibility of him slipping up because mm. it's not Figgy and he might become a little bit complacent. But I think Pantoja is actually the perfect opponent for him to, like you said, to keep that sharpness, yeah. to want to get better yeah. and stay at least minimum at that level he had to be to beat Figgy. Correct. I think against anyone else, I'm like, yeah, if he takes his eye off the, off the gas he and, he, you know, he could slip up. So... For me, it's made for him to like get that revenge. Yeah, you know, get he's got past the figgy. What you can't even call it a trilogy, <laughs> quadrilogy, or whatever you want to call it, the trilogy, the, the the figgy quad. And now it's like, yeah, he gets now to like beat Pantoja. I suppose interesting enough, he beats Pantoja. Then what? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's true. The, then, we, then what? What's if what? we look? He's beaten the. He's beaten the number one. He's beaten the number two. Like what's next who who can we see unless Kai Kara France obviously I think he's got a he's got a, he's booked to another fight actually got an, he lost his last fight though, but although that was controversial yeah, wasn't it that was so controversial like, he did not lose a that lot fight. of noise about that one uh, sorry he did not lose that fight but I think you know I think if he, he'd have given him a, a fight so quickly afterwards because I think the UFC know that actually you know they really? just messed him up there yeah because I saw Izzy I, I, I don't think I saw the fight but I saw Izzy come out with statements and Izzy yeah. was Izzy and Dan Hooker yeah they were and they were fuming fuming they are like you're taking food out of your kids mouths they were going in and That's I was like oh my goodness what's going on here That's it. jeez um, and just for context, again, looking at the the, the well, they still got figure eight figure in the rankings for flyweight, hasn't he moved up a weight? Oh, oh yeah. So he was supposed to he was supposed to fight somebody at bantamweight, I believe, yeah. when it got cancelled. I think he wants to try mm. and go back down again. That's that's what that's what I heard. So that Ooh. could be interesting. Oh, yeah, that's shocked because I was expecting to see. I don't know. 
I saw it seen the ranking of number two Pantoja, and I was mm. like, okay, so who's number one then? Yeah. I wasn't expecting to see Figgy there because yeah, in my true. head he's moved up. Yeah. And actually, I was thinking, yeah, that's who it's Kai. I thought it was Kai Kai France, but yeah, obviously he but lost he to lost, uh, yeah. Albazi. Mm. So, mm. so Figgy's still a bat. Okay. Um, and effectively, you know, looking at the division, obviously you've got Figgy number one, Pantoja number two, Albazi number three, um, Brandon Royal. Royal, Royal, uh, for yeah. After that, the biggest name really is Kai. You want Kai Carl of France, yeah, to, to win because you again, fresh me, got the title. He's a name, mm. although Brandon's already beat him. And then you got Alex Perez, Match now, Manal Cape, Tim Elliott, Mohamed Makayev. Oh, yeah, Makayev. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Okay, okay. That's who we're forgetting about. Okay. How dare we? Apologies okay. as well. Okay, yeah. Well, okay, Ev, he's he's got he's fighting again. Uh, he's fighting London because he had that he had that win last time in he London did, yeah. with that knee. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah, it was yeah. Gordon or whatever, isn't it? Oh, it wasn't Gordon. It was somebody else, I think. Um, okay, Ev gets back on the get back on it. Two more two more fights, I think he has. Well, if you look at the division, yeah, it, it, you know, like you said, the. The contender now has just had three three fight win streak, and he's got and he's he's there. Yeah, Makayev's already on. Gosh, he's you know obviously he's got to get up the rankings, but he's already on four wins. Yeah, in Und- the UFC, all in the UFC. Yeah, four fight win streak, undefeated in in, in all his career. Three well. submissions, three out of four submissions as well. He finishes his feud. So that would be a, that would be yeah okay. We could get excited about that. Ten and 0. ten and oh, I would look at yeah. He's, oh, he's nice. That's what the UFC needs to push. So does he play? He, I'm oh, he's fight. Oh, when's he fighting next? Oh, he's he's had a fight lately. Yeah, that was Philly. that was in um, oh was March. In, yeah, that was March. Oh, That's yeah, when yeah, he did yeah. the uh, the knee thing. Oh, was that the London one? Yeah, okay. that was the London one. Okay, but okay. I think he's 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 um, healed up now. But there's a fight booked, I'm sure, or maybe there's a fight announcement coming. Okay. Um, two more fights, get him in there, mix it up. Yeah, and Fresh after me. yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, again. I, I'm not really excited by the division now that I've seen. Every, but Makayev, yeah, Makayev and, and Kai Karloff once, you know, they'll be the two names we want to see kind of get get to the to the summit. Yeah, that's um, it. Because they're big names and it'll be interesting to see them against Brandon. But for obviously, first, Brandon's got to get, got, got, got to get past Pantoja. Yeah. Um, for me, I'm going, what, what was your prediction? You went Brandon and how? I think I said around, did I say round three? Yeah, I said round three submission. Okay. Brandon. I'm gonna go. Oh, you went to Brandon submission. I went to Brandon submission. I did. I think he's gonna rock him, get down to the ground, get his back, choke him out. Oh, I like that actually. Choke him out. I think he'll go four. I think he'll he'll get him into the that the the, the murky waters of. Oh, you want to be in the championship round? You want to <laughs> play with the big boys? <laughs> I think he'll get him there, and then he'll be like, "Yeah, you ain't you ain't got the gas tank for the big boys," and yeah. then and then do exactly what you said. But I think round four. Round four. I think it'll, it'll be a big knockdown, get down, finish him off. There we go. Yeah. There we go. See boom. boom, boom, boom. Um, so, yeah. So far, no arguments. Perfectly it's aligned. Peace. It's all peace so in the far, room. In the so building. So good. But we're getting to, <laughs> getting to the middleweights now. Lovely, jubbly moving on to the middleweights. Come on. Come on. Ooh. So, we've got your mate. Bobby Knuckles <laughs> versus on. DTP. It's me. It's me. It's me. D <laughs> Jeez. I like this. What? This, is, oh, this is nuts, the fact that it's like not it's not co main. Exactly. If you think about it, it's that's actually quite nuts. it's actually quite yeah, that's how stuck the card is. It's actually quite nuts. Um this this is gonna be spicy. It's gonna be tasty. How did this come about then? Tasty. <laughs> this came about mad. What, is this rescheduled or is this original schedule? This is original schedule. Really? This is DDP <sighs> on the mic using using his mic skills mm. to formulate a path to the title. Jeez. I love it, you know. I do love it. I don't love what he said. You know? What, what being the, the true African that he is. Exactly, being the true <laughs> African. I, I, I see where he's coming from, but I just think there's a lot, there's a lot of just flaws in the stuff that he was saying. Yeah. But he's got himself to a position where he's finding in the former, you know, middleweight champion, Bobby Knuckles, in a title eliminator. Because whoever wins this is the next title shot. It has to be. 
has to be. It has to be, but uh, let's be honest. With, yeah, as much as you like Bobby Knuckles, the majority of us don't want to see Bobby Knuckles against Izzy again. It has to be. It's like... Yeah, it has to, be, it has to has win to first. Be. Yeah, no, it has, yeah, to, it has but, to win. But... But, but for that reason, a lot of people actually will be, again, want to see fresh blood and be like, well, because of that narrative you've already touched on, the whole Africa thing, <laughs> yeah, and the whole Dana still, you know, being a bit, he's not saying no to Africa, but he's still being coy about it. Mm-hmm. The whole, you know, the three kings have ended, but actually now we could have two kings <laughs> fighting at the, at, 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 at the top of the mountain for, for the King of Africa title. For this not to happen <laughs> then in Africa... Is an abomination. That is true. So for me, I'm just teeing it up. I I, I want to see Izzy fighting someone new, someone fresh. I like the beef. Although every time mm-hmm. Izzy wants to fight someone because of beef, it never, it never happens. happens. It never happens. Sean Strickland. He likes Sean Strickland. He says it will be fun because of the trash talk and everything that will go into it. Yeah. Sean Strickland. No. Didn't do his didn't job. Do his, didn't eat his food. Didn't finish his meal. Yeah. The one before that, for years, he kept banging on, please just win two or three in a row. Darren yeah. Till. Darren was big. Yeah. He was desperate for Darren Till to win That's just to true. get on a streak because he wanted to fight him again. He, he said the build-up was going to be fun. It'll be a fun fight. Never happened. Yeah. Now, DDP is <laughs> on Issy's lips. He's talking about him. He is. He's him he and Eddie. Did you see when he was on Ariel a few weeks ago? Oh yeah. He's proper like the now the you now proper talking about what he felt when DDP was saying those things and why he said like the whole you know what whatever you want to call it the geopolitical side of it and <laughs> trying to yeah. give the, the the viewers that understanding of as a black man for you to say that yeah. you you need, you need to mm, mm, mm-hmm. mm. so it's interesting. It so is, I'm excited by that, but I also think there's, you know, something a little bit like the Drake curse because Izzy wants it. it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna basically. happen. Yeah. It's true. So, but do you know what? I think there's a lot of people that actually still don't like Izzy. There's a lot of people, and there's a lot of people that like Bobby Knuckles. There's a huge following all of Australia for Bobby Knuckles. And I think it's similar to when... Yeah, but Izzy's not Australian. He's from New Zealand, isn't he? <laughs> well, he lives in New Zealand. Yeah, it's New Zealand. So of course but... Australians are going to back their boy. Yeah, they are. But Australia, it's, it's, like, it's like when you've got a, a champ that comes from that's comes from Mexico or, or a champ that comes from, mm. like, uh, uh, Ireland. Oh, there's, there's, one, there's mainly one guy there and they're all going for yeah, Obviously, yeah, you've got yeah. both and stuff. But the whole of a country, the size of Australia, is going for Bobby Knuckle. Mm. And I think just because people don't like Izzy as well in his character and whatnot, I think people will be... We'll but where's, where does that where one. does that stem from? I think well, just I'm going on going on social media and seeing and seeing the like people just think that Izzy talks a lot. People think that he posts too much about a certain narrative. So mm. when he beat um, Pereira, mm. people think that he's been trolling Pereira for too long on that. People think that it's I'm yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. that yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. that's the narrative and. Trust me, the amount of stuff I was seeing on, I, I got triggered. I'm telling you, I got triggered. And I really? Might have, I might have sent one or two, one or two comments. Shots fired. On, on, the, on the King's Cut MMA Instagram. King's Cut <laughs> sniping in the comments. <laughs> like I said. Too many haters are clocking <laughs> up figures. <laughs> you know? But yeah, but I mean, and people think that it was a decision fight. It doesn't knock him out anymore prior to the, obviously the Pereira. But, okay. But, but I think people, similar to us, like with the uh, Max Holloway and, and Volk, we actually, we wanted to see that Max, that Max Holloway Volk mm. third fight just because we thought the second fight was so close. Close. People think Robert Whitaker won that second fight against Izzy. People, people still people think Robert Whitaker, I think, still thinks that. And Rob's still coming out and saying, Do you know what? He knows how to beat him. Mm. Just give me another shot. He knows. And the thing is, Robert Whitaker will beat all of the contenders in that middleweight division mm-hmm. like that and that's the thing and i don't and we've not even gotten into the discussion yet mm. <laughs> again i just I, I actually don't see ddp beating him i don't sorry to shoot the gun but interesting one because i think after his last fight mm. ddp's last fight yeah i want to say that he went on air we were talking about was it yeah is it Brunson? Is it Brunson? yeah yeah he went on and was talking about how um, obviously everyone was always questioning his cardio because he always has seems to have an issue with his nose. And yeah. he's talking about how he had just some condition where, you know, his nasal pathways were 
were basically blocked and, you know, yeah. he, there wasn't firing on all, all cylinders and how he was going to take a break, I believe, after that fight, which was only March, to get it repaired. Yeah. Has he had the... For me, it's only July. And um, what, the fight's next weekend. So I, I'm wondering, has that been repaired? And has... Or is he... Because of the opportunity and the momentum, yeah. has he jumped back into that without fixing what he said he was going to fix? Just curious. Yeah, Again, my, because for me, that might make a bit of a difference because he always... After, like, round one, even sometimes in round one, the narrative, and you even hear, you know, um, DC is always talking about, like, is he gassed? Because, like, he's always... His mouth's already open. Yeah. Because basically he can't breathe out of his nose. Yeah, Up true. to a certain limit. <sighs> Mate, Bobby Knuckles is going to be relentless. <laughs> He's there. He's relentless. Once around five. Relentless. Around three. If you're not at 100%, or if that's still an issue, then I don't even think it's a competition. Yeah. Because, you know, he's very lucky it's not a... You know, he's very lucky. For, DDP's lucky it's three rounds. Yeah. If oh, it's 100%. five, oh my goodness. If it's five, yeah. It's, oh my it's, goodness. It's a long day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a long day. With it being three. Talk about swampy waters. <laughs> Talking about Ocean Gate looking for the Titanic. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> It's true. Implosion! It's true. It must have been damaged! <laughs> All the means! All the means! Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's so, true, though. You're, you're, you're right. I'm curious. So, obviously, the the um, the uh, the countdown show hasn't hasn't dropped. I'm hoping that shares a little bit of light yeah, because I'm very I curious. I want to know. And I'm not saying that he's 100... Because, effectively, what that tells us is... We've never seen DDP at one hundred percent. Yes, effective. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, if you're not one hundred percent, and you're going against the, the the less less like you said, the best middleweight after is in the division. Yeah. What like why? Well, you did, what yeah. just you've got an opportunity. At least do it. Give yourself a chance. Exactly. If you need um, to delay the fight, delay the fight. Just so say- I'm just yeah, I'm just throwing it out there because I'm very very curious. Yeah. Let's do it, and we'll, yeah, we'll even put it in if we see anything. We'll we'll obviously update people as well but yeah you're, you're spot on you're spot on but even despite that i'm not gonna lie he looked great against brunson he did made light work out of till yeah. um tavares before that um and yeah he's been on a, he's been on a tear what one two three four five five times five times lots of KOs in there so we've got tko tko decision unanimous submission what was brunson again was that I think it was. No, it's a stoppage. Yeah, it was Stop. third round. I think it was third round. So there you go. Um, so yeah, you know, even with his disability, mm-hmm. he's still... <laughs> he's... <laughs> disability. <laughs> it's still with his disability. He's still getting a job done. No, he is still getting a job done, but... It's true. But that was, let's be honest, against lesser opposition now. Yeah. You, he's now ranked number five. Yeah. You're now in those swampy waters. You're now exactly. in the wa- you know, the waters with the killers. Yeah. That top five, just to reel that off, we've got Izzy Champ. Alex Pereira is still in there, ranked as number one. Yeah. But Robert Whitaker two. Jared mm-hmm. Cannonier, three. Ooh. Martin Vittori, um, up oh. there, Paolo Costa, Paolo. and then DDP. Yeah. Like <sighs> it's crazy. The only the only one I actually see him probably be, be in there is is Alex, actually, I think he beat his Alex. I think he could be Alex just because of the style. Yeah, but Alex is moving up now. Yeah, it's true. Just yeah. the style. Um, oh, Canon Vittori, did we see that? That was a fight and a half. Oh, two, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yes. yeah, Canon yeah. Woo! Yeah. Wow. But that's the thing. He he. This is a good opportunity for him because he he gets to bypass Marvin Vittori. He was just a, he was just a solid. He gets to bypass Jared Canon. Yeah, this is 100%. I agree. This is number one contender. Fight. Yeah. 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 Um... Although I could, yeah, yeah, it is. Even if Whitaker, you know, um, wins, then I think, you know, the UFC probably have to throw Izzy a few more zeros because I don't think he's going to be keen on that. He's like, what again? Yeah, uh, you've got me doing these again, again fights because I know I, I, I've won laps on everyone. That's why you gave me Pereira. That's exactly. why we went through Flash that track. whole ordeal. You're doing this to me again. They're going to have to be okay. We add another zero to your contract. Then they'll do it, yeah. of course. <laughs> money, money talks. Let's be honest. Money talks. But um. I just want to work that out that DDP narrative. Yeah. Let's be honest. That's it. He needs to win. If if you know DDP wins, that fight's got to be in Africa for what? Lovely. So again, both align perfectly. Jalen Turner mm-hmm. with the with the W versus Dan Hooker. Dan Hooker 
do your thing, prove us wrong if you can. That's it, that's it. Um, and then we'll do, like I said, Cardiff stacked. We could literally talk about every single fight, but we're going to do some honourable mentions very quickly. We've got Bo Nickel Indeed. versus uh, Trey Sean. He was in Old oh, Not Fighter not too long ago. He was, he? yeah. You remember the yeah. face he just <laughs> Trey Sean Gore. I recognise you, mate. <laughs> um, yeah. What, Bo, Bo, uh, is this an easy one for Bo Nickel to, to add to his record? or I, I don't think it'd be as is easy it... as, as some of his other ones. I think Trey Sean's, you know, he's, he's good. I think he's solid. Um, I don't think he won the Ultimate Fighter, but I, I, I remember him being on it. Mm. Um, but, um, you know, Brad Pickett, was, he was a good guy. You know, he was, um, he, he, he trained it down at Salty Dog MMA, um, part of John Salty's gym. It's good there, but Bo did what he needed to do there. Mm. I'm still gonna say it's a Bo Nickel win. Mm. You know, um, will it be second fight in Bo Nickel? Will be second, yeah, second in the UFC. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna do what he loves to do. He's wrestling, tries to you know just to smother, smother him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I suppose the caveat is Trey Sean's record in the UFC is one and two. So for me, uh, okay. if you lose, you're getting cut. You're cut, yeah. You, Ooh, can't, you okay. can't have a record of one and three and still be hanging around in the UFC. They're yeah. pretty savage. In the first four, you need to be three and one. Two and two, you might get, get a one fight extent. He's got to win. Oh, yeah. He needs to. So, yeah. It's, and his first win was his last fight. But, the, yeah, then he's lost. He lost his first in the UFC. And then... Must the second as well. Must the second. He must have. Had, he must have a four fight, four fight deal. Yeah, I'm four saying. fight fight deal. Yeah, he needs to be win, and he needs to win it by. He needs to win, you know. Yeah, and from if he wins against Bo, yeah, he gets the extension. Well, you win against Bo, I think, yeah, because 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 it's Bo, you, you they're, not, they're not cutting you. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, about. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because you're, you're beating like you know, Mister Name. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it, it might not be as light work with that added either motivation. Or pressure, mm, oh, <laughs> depending, yeah. depending on how you see, he could just fold because <laughs> of the pressure. So uh, you got Bo. Uh, I'm not going to make a pick on that. <laughs> <laughs> These are honourable mentions anyway. Yep. Trey yes, Sean. Yes. If I, if I get the pick, then I, you add it down. If I don't, you don't add it. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. No chance. Um, quick. Oh, fun fight quickly. Bobby Lawler versus Nico Price. Oh my goodness. Looks like I'm staying up for the prelims as well. Oh. It's, it has to be the last fight. Come That's on. Violence on violence. It's true. Well, well, I like that. Both of these guys only know one way to fight. Yeah. All right. That would be fun. Sean Brady. Oh, what the heck? How Della far Mandela. down this is it? Sean Brady versus Jack. Bella Mandela. Mandela. That's crazy. That was a crazy fight as well. Sean's come, I think Sean's coming off that loss to um, Bilal Mohammed. Otherwise, he was undefeated before then. That is crazy, yeah. Bilal Mohammed, last fight. Yeah, 15 and 1. Jeez. He needs to win, but again, that's a, that's a hard fight. That's a crazy fight. Mad. Mad. Two, two young guns as well. That'd be fun. Indeed. Um, and then we have. Sorry, women's strawweight, Yasmin Yo. I don't know. I don't know. Not, not honourable mention because I don't know you. No. Sorry, apologies. Jimmy Crute, Alonzo Manyfield. Okay. And Jimmy Crute. Aussies are representing and, and, and any other big names to call out that we recognise? No. But like we mm. said, nice stacked card. Indeed. Um, two championship belts on the line. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to that, that main. That, I'm looking forward to the main, the middleweights as well. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. yeah um, so middleweights for me, because of the implications that could have for Izzy, huge, Ooh. and then the main. Yeah. Main, I think, is going to be elite, elite. And then, like, that that middleweight is either going to be Bobby, Knock- Bobby Knuckles, Bobby Knuckles, Bobby Knuckles, <laughs> Bobby Knuckles making a real wicked statement, yeah. or DDP shocking the world and making UFC Africa a dream. <sighs> Kind of want the latter. <laughs> kind of want the latter. I do. I do. Kind of want the shock of the world. But, yo, um, just going to quickly check my phone, just in case um, a fax has come in for our APL, who has arisen out of a slumber. <laughs> um, but he hasn't sent his pics. He's just asked, is it too late? So, <laughs> because we just, 
have our phones open whilst recording. Yeah. APR, the professional. You know we don't do them things. Um, all right, we'll get back to you on that. But, yo, that's been our UFC 290 review show. Out before the UFC have even done their countdown. No, it won't be out because it'll, it'll be tomorrow. It won't be but anyway, out. yeah. Before the embedded, hopefully. We're yeah. early. We're early. We, We're we try early. our best. Indeed. Indeed. Well, looking forward to catching you in the... Oh, sorry. That was the preview show. Looking forward to catching you in the review show. Indeed, yes. Um, we'll stay, we're staying up bright-eyed and bushy tail, so we might even be recording, like, highly caffeinated yeah. in, in, next week That's just to true. keep it fresh. So, peace out. It's been your King's Court. I'm Obosogi. Yes, I'm your guy, Mardi. All blowing out. Peace. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. On the fence. I'm on the fence. We don't need to talk about it. Left hook from Yaounde came and landed on him, you know, so.